The East African Public Health Laboratory Network is a project that was established as a network of efficient, high quality and accessible public health laboratories for diagnosis of tuberculosis and other communicable and non-communicable diseases. The project is a regional project in the whole of East Africa and it is supported by the World Bank. The development objective of the, of the project is to establish a network of efficient, high quality, accessible public health laboratories for the diagnosis of TB and other communicable diseases. It is a regional project and it is being implemented in five East African community member states, namely Burundi, Kenya, Rwanda, Tanzania, Uganda, and Uganda is taking the regional lead on the laboratory accreditation and networking in the region. So far the project has registered a number of achievements, the first of which is the construction of a national tuberculosis reference laboratory that has taken place in Butavika. This construction has been completed and the laboratory is now functional. Three of these labs, one in Uganda, one in Tanzania, uh, one in Tanzania and another one in Kenya have been accredited internationally. That is the evidence that the World Bank funded projects are bearing results in the three of the five East African member states. The other achievement is the provision of critical laboratory equipment to regional laboratories in several districts, namely Arua, Gulu, Mbale, Mbarara, and Mulago. And this has improved access to high quality diagnostics to the underserved areas. The microscope does one slide, one patient every 30 minutes. For some people who are not very experienced, it might take even longer. But the gene expert that is being evaluated right now is a new technology that can do very many tests in a very short time. Today in Uganda, one is able to, to, have, to, to have a TB test and get the results in the shortest possible time. We're talking about two days. What you get from these laboratories here is the same result that you'll get from anywhere else in the world. We have also strengthened the training of health workers, raising their capacity to do these diagnostics, and the people have benefited much from that. You can see it from the big volumes of, of, of tests that are being done in these centers that we are supporting. The project has future plans that will be handled with the 15 million US dollars, and this includes construction of an isolation facility in Mulago for management of viral hemorrhagic fevers and other emerging and re-emerging infections. We shall also strengthen public health labs in seven regional facilities that we are supporting and these are regional referral laboratories in Mulago, in Mbarara, in Fort Potro, Arua, Rachor, Mbari and Moroto. It also plans to refurbish the isolation facility in Entebbe to make it more resilient to handling uh, viral hemorrhagic fevers and other outbreaks. We are also involved in the cross-border surveillance with the other East African countries. Uh, we have got committees, cross-border surveillance committees, and these ones especially with Kenya, with Tanzania, with Rwanda, and we intend to develop surveillance committees with Sudan and the Democratic Republic of Congo. We have achieved a lot under this project and we are looking forward by the end of this project, about three years to come, we should have been able to achieve a lot more in these key areas of infrastructure and also human resource.